Welcome to the first episode from chapter 14. And chapter 14 is on human genetics. And it's really an extension of what we learned in chapter 11, which was about Mendelian genetics, where you learned about dominant, recessive, incomplete dominance, codominance, Punnett squares, uh, law of segregation, etc. So we're basically in this chapter, we're just extending that knowledge and applying it to more human stuff. Okay? So this first episode is going to be about human chromosomes. Now, humans have... 23 different kinds of chromosomes. And they get really neat names. Uh, The first 22 are called chromosome number one, chromosome number two, chromosome number three, etc. until you get down to chromosome number 22. Okay? Now, out of these 23 chromosomes, you have two of each kind because you got 23 from dad and 23 from mom, and that gives you this total of 46. So all, whoops, let me rephrase this here. All human egg cells that have been made correctly will have 23 chromosomes, and they're going to combine with a human sperm cell that will also have 23 chromosomes, and they will produce the zygote, which is the fertilized egg, which will have 46 chromosomes, all right? So that represents right here the zygote. Okay, the very first cell that's going to develop into you. Now, you notice how we have 23 chromosomes up here. We have 23 different kinds. But if you look over here, these first 22, so there's one more kind left, these are called the sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes are going to determine your gender. So you can think of sex, just think of gender. Like, are you going to be a boy or are you going to be a girl? Now, these sex chromosomes have... Fancy names. Now, the first 22 chromosomes, they're named by a number, like number one, number two, number three, but the sex chromosomes get letters. They come in two flavors, X and a Y. Now, girls have two Xs. They got an X from mom, and they got an X from dad. Males, on the other hand, are X and Y. They got an X from mom, but their dad gave them a Y. So I want you to write this down up here. Let's pick a different color for this one. Let's go with this one, all right? Uh, I don't like that color. Let's try red. Okay, here's the way you want to remember this one. When it comes to chromosomes, if you have a Y, you're a guy, okay? So if you have a Y chromosome, you're a guy. Have a Y, you're a guy, that's it. Now, the one thing you do want to remember here is that males will determine the sex of the baby. Let me get myself caught up here. Okay. So let's draw a little Punnett square. There we go. That one will work. All right. So if you do the law of segregation with the sex chromosomes for a male, half the sperm cells are going to get a Y. The other half, I'm sorry, half the sperm cells are going to get an X. The other half are going to get a Y. And in a female, half the egg cells get one X, and then the other egg cells get the other X. So now it's just plug and chug. Let's pick a new color in here. Let's go with purple. X, 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 Y. Have a Y, you're a guy. X, Y, have a Y, you're a guy. And you'll notice the chances of becoming a male, that's 50%. And the chances of becoming a female, that's also 50%. Okay? Okay. Now, there's a big size difference between an X and a Y chromosome. And we have this coming up on another one of these screencasts in this, uh, in this series. But the X is much larger. So the X is larger. It's going to have about 1,200 genes on it. The Y is just a little guy. It only has about 140. And the main thing that's found on a Y chromosome is a gene that's a switch. It turns you on from being a guy. Or I'm sorry, let me rephrase this one. There's this one gene on the Y chromosome that acts like a a switch, like an on and off switch. Every human being is pre-programmed to be a girl because you're going to get an X chromosome from your mom. It's when you have the Y and there's that one gene that switches you from female to male that makes you a dude. So that's why when you have a Y, you're a guy. All right, let's get rid of that one. And we got one more slide to go over in this uh, episode, okay? Autosomes. Remember those first 22 chromosomes I was talking about? 
those are called autosomes, okay? So autosomes, the first 22 chromosomes. Let's write that down here. They're the first 22 chromosomes. Remember, this is my little symbol for chromosome because chromosomes are way too many letters to write, okay? Now remember their name, one, two, three, all the way up to 22 like you learned on the previous one. And then the sex chromosomes, remember, those are the 23rd pair. So let's think of it this way. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are called autosomes. Those are just normal, regular, everyday chromosomes, okay? The 23rd pair, remember those would be the sex chromosomes. And we know those as the X and the Y, all right? So we have 22 pairs of autosomes, so 22 times 2 is 44, and we have two sex chromosomes. You got one from mom, you got one from dad. 20, or I'm sorry, 44 plus 2, 46, and there's your grand total. So remember, 46 total chromosomes, and we have 23 different types. 23 times 2 equals 46, okay? That's going to end this episode. we got nine more to go on this series. So until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.